can you tell me about the painting that you made here today? Well, I was asked to make a painting here. I don't normally do things in such public places, of course. And uh, I'm very pleased to do it. I had three wonderful assistants, which is a big help and a luxury for me. The act of doing a, a painting, it's a sort of starting point for getting the mind going. That's, that's the whole thing. And um, I like it because it's accidental and it's a counterpoint to the computer. Because the computer asks too many questions. Which, you know, like where the car escapes. I mean, oh, oh, I don't know what we're doing yet. Can you talk about creativity? Yeah, creativity is a difficult word I yeah. think, in some ways because we all think we know what it means, and I don't think any of us know what it really means. We have to go on this sort of voyage, it's the voyage of discovery, and painting is an aid to that voyage of discovery. It's not alone, it's painting. We do have the computers, which I've already mentioned. Uh, we have sketchbooks, you have sleep, that's quite good. Dreaming, also work. Writing, also. Sometimes I, I'll write things. Doesn't use anything to try and work your way into some other level of understanding related to an art or an architecture of a project. If you're, just, if you're doing it for painting purposes alone, it's, it's different. But then the painting takes control. In a way, I think what I learned from painting related to architecture is it will take you into other places if you allow it. Yeah, so after the moment of creativity and the expression comes the sorting, how do you sort a good idea from a, a less good idea? <laughs> oh, that's a difficult <laughs> question. You go to sleep. If it still feels and looks good in the morning, <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a clue. The sketchbook has a big place in, in architectural education, but I think painting less so. Would you challenge architects to try it? Well, they have to do what they're comfortable with. You know? I wish they would. You do make a mess. If you feel that the way you're dressed allows you to, to splash yourself and get dirty, change it. somehow that also changes the way you think about what you're doing. There are other things that actually you just sort of grab out or you reach out towards, you know. It's not always possible, but it should always be possible, but not always, is talking and working with the people. So it's a counterpoint to working alone, to working with a much wider body of people. And I enjoy doing that because people are quite mad. Unpredictable. Yeah. But do you mean people within architecture or...? And the people who you're actually serving. And I've done lots of, yeah, I've done a lot of painting sessions with the community, and they're terrific. They're always afraid of painting, but then they get into it eventually and get completely messed up, and that's good. I like that. But Do you think it helps them, they're joining into the creative process then? Does that... I think they are the part of the creative process, uh, undoubtedly. They don't always understand that, but actually they are. But I, I, I like the fact that they're always afraid at the beginning, but actually that you things come out of them, which they wouldn't normally say. So the act of painting actually somehow loose aerates them, loosens them up. And if you can bring that wider body of people along with you, it's my project and it's their project. And I think that's really good.